Well, Underwater Healer is a very unique program using underwater portrait photography as a form of healing, helping cancer survivors do about face and attitude by helping them rediscover their beauty. Joining me right now is underwater portrait photographer Arena Shimoda, and also with us is a cancer survivor who took part in Arena's underwater healer about face project, Maya Sisa. Thank you both for being here. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Now, you know, uh, it, it sounds so interesting, underwater photography, and we actually shot some uh, at your place already. So let's take a look at it, and then let's talk about what we're seeing. Okay, here we are now. And now where are we at this facility? Uh, this is the, the Camden Community Center in San Jose. Okay. And uh, Maya, you said that you have done a little bit of modeling. And yeah. uh, did that help you at all for this, or was this just too unique an experience? Yeah, it, it did help, but I've never had any experience modeling underwater. <laughs> you know, to model above water on ground is one thing. Yeah. But to be underwater where you can't breathe, you have to hold your breath, that's totally different. <laughs> Arena, tell us a little bit about why you're doing this. What is it you're trying to capture? Why do it this way? Yeah, I started um, volunteering for American Cancer Society's Look Good, Feel Better. It's the program for the cancer patients and survivors to uh, rediscover their beauties. They learn how to put makeup on and wigs on. Uh, when they go through their treatments, they lose their um, body image, uh, their, they lose their confidence. So. Mm -hmm. This is the, the program that they can get together and support each other. And when I, when I work with my clients, and uh, they also gain their confidence by doing something new, which is underwater portrait photography. So I thought I can combine these two mm -hmm. to help cancer survivors and provide my service for them. Like Maya was saying, it's almost, uh, it's, there's so much logistical things to remember, you can't even get nervous. Yeah. Maya, a lot of people might have trouble viewing you as somebody who has uh, any problem with your appearance, uh, regardless yeah. of your condition. What exactly are you, uh, how are things for you health-wise, and what did this do for you? Health-wise, I'm much better. I am much more better when I eat. Mm -hmm. I eat much more healthy, so I rarely drink soda anymore. Mm -hmm. I try to stay away from sugar. Try, that's the key word. <laughs> um, I'm a health, I just live a much healthier lifestyle now. Mm -hmm. And what about the images when you saw them? What were your thoughts about what was being captured? I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't think they were gonna come out that good, mm -hmm. so to say, because I really didn't know mm -hmm. how I even looked underwater. Yeah. I've never seen myself underwater before, so, but it was awesome. It was amazing to get to see myself in a totally different environment. Right, now, how did you come about the idea of trying to capture that? Because to me, when I look at it, it almost seems like slow motion and mm -hmm. adds a new dimension to the person as well as the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you come about thinking about doing things that way and for this purpose? Well, everybody is different underwater, and you don't know what's going to happen until you're in the water mm -hmm. with them. So what I need to do is to have the good relationship outside the water. Mm. and bring that connection back in the water because we can't really talk in the water, right? Yeah. So we just have to build up the trust before this photo shoot and then everything comes out great. It's just the, the trust, I think. The uh, element of trying to help somebody rediscover their beauty, mm -hmm. what do you say to them when you're explaining to them what they're about to do? What do you tell them? What, what do you want them to do? What do you want them thinking about? Oh, I tell them, I mean, I don't direct anything mm -hmm. for this photo shoot. I ask them to just be themselves, just feel free again, and because they haven't been free for a long time. Mm -hmm. So this is, I'm giving them the space for themselves. Maya, you haven't had to go through as much as maybe some of the other people that have gone through this, mm -hmm. uh, but what were your thoughts in terms of what it was doing for you and your attitude about dealing with your situation? Mm -hmm. Well... It was, you know, that experience, it was almost like being underwater. It, you're so at peace, it's quiet, you're kind of in, in your own world, and it's almost kind of like you're in a state of nirvana. Mm -hmm. That might sound yeah, weird, but no, it it's, it's kind of weird because ever since I got diagnosed, <coughs> I'll have these moments throughout the day where if I'm just sitting in the car or I'm walking, I'll have a moment just for myself and I kind of, I'm not thinking about anything. 
but I feel as if I've reached a state of nirvana for like 10 seconds, you know, which is I've never experienced that before. It might sound crazy. Yeah, no. But no, being on being underwater and doing this photo shoot, it was kind of like I got to be in that state of nirvana for yeah. such a long time. Uh, right now, I think that's uh, really what you want to hear people say, huh? Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for doing this, and we hope that people that, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. We're going to see a photo here. Oh, there we go. You hadn't seen this yet, had you, Maya? No. We wanted to make sure cool. you saw it before. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? That's awesome. I think, wow. Irina, you should be very proud of this. <laughs> Maya, you as well. I, I didn't, she was amazing. didn't know I could ever look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both for being here. And Thank we hope that other people us. who are in this situation will come see you. Okay. It would be very beneficial. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much.